In Montargis, about 100 kilometers south of Paris, the downtown square is named after a special Chinese student who worked and studied there over a century ago. Deng Xiaoping was only 15 when he arrived in France. He wasn't the youngest among the over 1,600 aspiring Chinese who went to France from 1919 to 1920 to study new ideas. They traveled by sea from Shanghai to Marseille. Many, including Deng Xiaoping, went to Montargis, where Qing Dynasty scholar Li Shizheng had studied before launching the Work and Study in France movement with the hope of transforming the then semi-feudalist, semi-colonized China. Zhou Enlai was another famous student in the movement, and Mao Zedong, an active fundraiser for it at home. They studied in over 30 institutions and worked in more than 70 factories. At Schneider Works, Deng Xiaoping and many others worked 12 hours a day, besides studying French, professional skills and Marxist works. In June of 1922, 18 student representatives from France, Germany and Belgium met in Bois de Boulogne to form what later became the Chinese Communist Youth League in Europe. Both Zhou and Deng were key league members and editors for its publication. Deng was often seen busy operating the printing machine with his right hand while holding a croissant in his left, hence the nickname Dr. Mimeograph. The work and study in France movement started to dwindle in 1921 when the French and Chinese authorities discontinued free college admissions and financial subsidies for the students. But the years in France had inspired many of them to become firm believers of communism. In 1974, when the then Vice Premier Deng Xiaoping finished attending the UN General Assembly and stopped over in Paris, he brought home 100 croissants to share with his mates from the days in France. He had said many times that croissants were his favorite food. <laughs>